Hey, welcome in and thank you for joining this playthrough of Marvel Champions the Card Game in which Spider-Man Peter Parker in the protection aspect will be taking on Rhino. This series is based on the perfect matchups video from Get Up and Game, so go ahead and check out Josh's videos and I will link that below. Alright, so we are playing a Spider-Man protection deck against Rhino. So let's see, this just quick look at him. Um, he comes in with his Rhino scenario. Uh, we're playing Bomb Scare and the standard, so just the classic Rhino matchup. And we're playing against Spider Man, or playing with Spider Man. So Peter Parker's great, gets to generate a resource, gets to draw a card um, when an enemy initiates the attack, um, when the villain does. And his deck is just so packed. It's what, such a cool um, deck to start out with and even playing. So his. Um, ally Black Cat doesn't take the consequential damage. Swinging Web Kick is great. The backflip is incredible. Don't take damage. And then these enhanced spider senses, um, I don't always get to use, but today they really uh, kick butt. So, in our protection deck, we'll look at our allies here. We have um, Black Widow, Jocasta, Clea, and Professor X. Keeping it simple there. And then being protection, we have a ton of upgrades. So we have an unflappable, two hard to ignores instead of three, an armored vest, electrostatic armor, flow like water, Jadoka skill, which was one of the newer cards I wanted to add, and ingenuity, and a coin carrier. Um, ingenuity is so great with Peter Parker as well. So then in this, we are going to be using all that to play. Let's see, we have our events as well. We have two not todays. Three Desperate Defenses, which just an MVP uh, defense card gets you uh, the ability to ready. And then two Powerful Punches as well, because I wanted to um, dink off some damage from him as we're moving along. And then lastly, we have our resource cards. So we have our Strength, Energy, Genius, and then I added two Defensive Energies in this game, um, where we get to get more card draw, and I saw that on Josh's video, so um, yeah, thanks to that we um, will get started here. All right, so let's get started here. Um, we will shuffle our obligation into the encounter deck here. There's not gonna be anything happening with the break-in. It's pretty basic. So shuffle these up, put that in. Um, so this, we just flip over. It doesn't do anything, um, but there is only a um, cap of seven on there so that's the hard part about rhino so looking at peter parker we are going to shuffle our deck and get started let's see one two three four five six cards so let's see what we got um we get an unflappable great to see electrostatic armor a backflip a webbed up a spider tracer and a professor x so um backflip will come in handy electrostatic armor and unflappable are, unflappable are great we can get rid of the rest of these webbed up we're not really looking to stun rhino with this protection deck so we're going to draw three more cards one two and three and we get queen carrier that's awesome as well a web shooter and a swinging web kick oh man so we have a lot of cool options here um, we're probably going to start by trying to build out first. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Um, let's exhaust or let's use our science resource to get in a web shooter. And then we'll go ahead and automatically use that right away. Put two on it um, to pay. Let's see, we want to get in a coin carrier. And then we also definitely want unflappable more than electrostatic armor. I kind of want to keep backflip. So we generated one resource. We're going to use, uh, this is uh, tough, but I'm going to use an electrostatic armor and a swinging web kick and that web shooter to put in a coin carrier. And then I'm going to exhaust the coin carrier to put in unflappable um, because we really want that unflappable so we can get more card draw. And now we will flip up to hero form and with that, we'll simply just attack for two and bring Rhino down to 12. Alrighty, so let's ready everything up. We have some resource generation. 
we have unflappable, we have a back flip in our pocket, which is great. So we will um, uh, draw up to five cards now. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, we get, hard to ignore, oh wait, mm, I kept back flip in my hand. I'm gonna shuffle this hard to ignore back into the deck. Just pretend that didn't happen there. Alrighty, my bad. So now we have five cards in our hand. Um, we have our backflip, a black cat, an energy, enhanced spider sense, and a defensive energy. Okay, so we have um, definitely some options here. Yeah, we can just cancel the um, treachery card, use a backflip. Oh yeah, we have a lot of options. So we're gonna go over to Rhino. We're gonna add one threat to the main scheme. He is going to attack us, in which we will let that come through. So he's going to be attacking for two plus three, two plus two, so it'll be attacking for four. Um, but we're gonna play our backflip, which is a defense, so that counts as defending. Um, when we do that, we prevent all the damage coming in. And so when he initiated his attack, we would have drawn into um, a genius. And then after we defend and take no damage, we'll exhaust unflappable and we'll get a swinging web kick. So let's see, we have a ton of resources. We have, um, yeah, okay, cool. I think we're very safe to be able to just go ahead and use this enhanced spider sense, which is awesome. Um, so now he attacked, he's gonna reveal a, um, our encounter card here. It is a treachery. This says we're confused, but you know, while we have this, we might as well just use it. Um, let's uh, cancel its one revealed effects with enhanced spider sense. There we go. Alrighty, so we come back to our turn and we have, sweet, this is a great turn. We're gonna put Black Cat into play. Black Cat can go ahead and uh, attack for one to bring him down to 11 and she does not take consequential damage, which is great. Um, ooh, and then, <laughs> forgot as well, when she, um, after we play her, we discard the top two cards of our deck. That is her um, forced response there. So before I do that, we already took down the damage. Um, we keep any mental resources. So we're gonna keep a not today and we are going to keep, not keep a backflip, which is uh, unfortunately, I would have loved to draw the backflip. After you play back Black Cat, discard the top two cards of your deck. Each card with burning resource, we add to our hand. Okay, so Black Cat's exhausted. She attacked for one. Now we have this Not Today, um, a Genius, and a Swinging Web Kick. With that, let's see what we can do. We can, um, let's play our Swinging Web Kick using the Genius and then the Queen Carrier. And so we are simply going to deal eight damage to him. Alrighty, so he goes down to three. All right, and oh, there goes my washing machine music. Um, <laughs> so let's see, we will, what else can we do here? We can either thwart that one away, we'll attack for two, we will attack for two, bring him down to one. Alrighty, so, Let's hang on to this not today. That will come in handy this time when he attacks, knowing that there are not um, any backflips left in the deck. So we're gonna drop to five. We're gonna one, two, hard to ignore, three, a powerful punch, four, a desperate defense, and five, a spider tracer. Okay, so we have some options here. And we'll probably use this Desperate Defense for sure. Let's ready everyone up. And uh, I wish we could have done one more damage so I could use this powerful punch, but that wouldn't be worth it in this case. So we will come back over to Rhino. We're gonna add one to the scheme here. He is going to attack for two plus. Um, and we will defend this attack. And with that, we're gonna use a uh, desperate defense here. 
So a few things happened. First of all, he initiated the attack. We drew a card into Black Widow. Now he is attacking. We have three, five defense for this attack because desperate defense adds to, and then, oh, sorry for the um, shadow there. It adds to, and then if we take no damage, we ready our hero. So he's attacking for two plus one. So he attacks for three. We defend all that damage. Um, we took no damage, so we get to ready. And then we exhaust unflappable to draw a card into Aunt May. Oh, that's awesome. So we have a ton of choices when it comes back to us, but we, for now, are going to reveal our encounter card, which is a Hydra Mercenary. No worries there. He has guard, which that is a-okay. Um, just three health and guard. Do we have anything? Ooh, we might be able to just bring in a Black Widow, use Spider-Man and one of the attacks to get rid of Hydra Mercenary, and then use the last one to ping off the last damage from Rhino. Um, but that also prevents us from hmm. doing that would prevent us from taking out. So on the next turn, Rhino brings out his um, side scheme, which gives an extra encounter card. So if we defeated him this turn, we're going to get an extra encounter card. We have a powerful punch that could take care of the mercenary next turn. So let's see for now. Oh, it's hard to decide what to do here. Um, we don't, we want to get in a Black Widow. And we want to... Yeah, let's start with getting in a Black Widow. We're going to exhaust a web shooter. I used my coin carrier to pay for desperate defense. Um, we'll use our spider tracer for sure. We'll use a not today to bring in... Black Widow. Let's see, and then what else we can do? We can bring in a Heart to Ignore. I don't expect we're going to be really needing to flip down to um, heal that much this turn. So as amazing as Aunt May is, I might put in this Heart to Ignore instead. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and if we regret doing that. And let's see, so we have this powerful punch. This would be fun to hang on to and get rid of the Hydra Mercenary with. And then the other things we could do... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, he has guard, so we can't. We have to get rid of him first. That's what's preventing me from... Because if not, I would just attack one with Black Hat and then thwart the rest off the scheme, but we have this pesky Hydra Mercenary. Mm. You know what? We have Black Widow. We're just going to take care of this mercenary. I will attack for two, attack for one. We're going to get rid of the mercenary and then Black Widow will swing in and um, she'll finish off the last from Rhino and he's going to be defeated in his first form. His second one comes out. We're going to go get break in and take in and we'll take an extra encounter card this turn, but that is okay. Um, break in and take in, where might that be? Did I? Nope, oh, there it is. All right, break in and taken comes in with three threat. So, um, that comes in with three. We're all exhausted. Mm. Let's see, we're all exhausted. I love that powerful punch, but I can still use the powerful punch on Rhino. Um, 15. So he comes in with 15 health. Um, I think I still will hang on to Powerful Punch, because why not? And we'll ready everything up here. All righty. Should be safe with the schemes, with the main scheme still. Black Widow, her interrupt is that when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, we exhaust her and spend a resource to cancel the effects of that. So we'll see if we end up using that. Um, we're going to hang on to this powerful punch. We're going to draw a Jocasta, a Desperate Defense, 
an armored vest, and an enhanced spider sense. Wow, okay, so we have a lot of cool options here. We'll probably cancel whatever treachery comes and then we can use a desperate defense for the attack. Oof, let's see, we have a lot of things we'd want to do. We have one, two resources we could use powerful punch for. And then we have one for desperate defense and one for enhanced spider sense. We might just end up doing that. Alrighty, so let's see what we can do here. We will come over to Rhino. One gets placed on the main scheme. So this says three out of seven. He's gonna attack for three plus his um, uh, boost card. We're going to defend this. When he initiates his attack, we draw a card into another desperate defense. Um, we are going to defend and let's see, so we are defending and we will first play a powerful punch with our web shooter and the Quinn carrier. So we're gonna deal four damage to him. That's the first thing that happens. Um, so he goes down to 11. So now he's still attacking. We will um, use an armored vest to play a desperate defense. Yeah, so we're gonna use this armored vest to play a desperate defense. So we're um, defending for five right now. And hopefully he does not draw a huge card here. Um, and he's attacking for four, we defend for five. So now when that happens, we ready our hero from desperate defense. We draw a card from unflappable. And then we remove one from the main scheme with hard to ignore. Okay, and now we get two encounter cards because of breaking and taking. Um, you know, if I would have played that, no, remembering that I would draw a card, I probably would have hung on to the armored vest. That would have been the smart idea, but no worries there, it's A-OK. -okay. We will instead reveal these and we'll see what happens. Um, so, I'm not sure which one I brought out first and if I did these correctly, but we'll start with this one. Okay, so it's our, well, it's our obligation. So we get our obligation and um, we will flip down to Peter Parker and exhaust, because if not one random card from our hand in this game surge, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have flip down and exhaust to Peter Parker. Which is cool, because now we can generate a resource. Ooh which could be cool for this next one. Um, and we're gonna get a Hydra Bomber. Alrighty, well, when revealed, we choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. Um, we will take the two damage just in case, because we're not that scared of our health right now. Okay, so what can we do here? We have this Hydra Bomber. We have resources now, so we can bring in Jocasta. Oh boy, so. Mm. We know we want to get rid of breaking and taking. Um, we can do that with black, yeah, okay, so let's see. We While we're in this form, we might as well generate a resource and use strength to bring in Jocasta, and then she can go into our discard pile and find a defense event. And what do we want to grab? I am thinking that I want to grab a desperate defense because that readying is just great. Yeah, so we're gonna grab desperate defense and now we can play this um, from Jocasta. And let's see what we can do. Do I want to stay down here? I sure don't, not in this deck. So we'll flip back up to hero form. Uh, we can't do anything because we're not readied. And let's see, so we have a Hydra Bomber and three threat to deal with. Um, we can't do both, so we'll just have, yeah, we do want to keep Jocasta around. We want to keep Black Widow around as well. Hmm. Yeah, that should be fine, we'll just, Work for two with Jocasta. 
and she's going to take two damage from that, but that's okay. She's still hanging out here. And then we're going to thwart one with Black Cat to get rid of Breaking and Taking. Because um, we want to keep Black Widow around. She's useful. And then we'll just keep the Hydro Bomber in play. That is fine. And that's all we can do this turn. So we're going to ready everyone up here. Ready Spider-Man. I'm going to hang on to my Desperate Defense fence despite we have one here but it's just incredibly useful in general we'll ready everything up alrighty so and we'll keep the enhanced spider sense these cards are useful I probably should be looking for more attack cards and discarding but hey we'll see what happens um, let's draw three more we get Clea a defensive energy cool and a powerful punch alrighty so Use a powerful punch and a desperate defense. And then we draw a card. If we use a powerful punch, we get okay. Lots of card draw here. So um, let's see what happens. Um, we're gonna go over to Rhino. We're gonna add one to the main scheme here. He's going to be attacking for three um, plus his boost card. When he initiates his attack, we draw a card into webbed up. Um, we will defend this attack. So we are now defending. He, we, when, when he initiates the attack, sorry for the timing on this, um, we're going to play a powerful punch with a Quinn carrier and this defensive energy. And then um, he's going to take four damage and we're going to draw a card because of the defensive energy and do a web shooter. Um, he takes four damage down to seven. Alrighty, and then with that, what else are we going to do? Okay, so he's attacking, and we still have our Desperate Defense that we want to play. Um, and we, I don't think we have the resources. Well, we have the resources to feed him this round. We'll end, when it comes back to us, we'll have two, three, four, five. Uh, out of seven attacks, six even if we got Clea in, so we wouldn't be able to defeat him this turn. No. So in that case, because um, the consideration there was, do I just want to use that desperate defense with this desperate defense? In that case, we will instead use a webbed up to play a desperate defense to get that extra two defense, so we can then ready. So he will be attacking for three plus two. So he's attacking for five. We defend for five. Because desperate defense, we ready. Um, now we draw a card because I'm unflappable into another hard to ignore. And then we exhaust hard to ignore to remove one from here. And then Hydra Bomber will attack and we will just take that attack. So that goes down to seven. Sweet. Okay, so now we get our encounter card in which we might just use Clea to... Okay, so let's see, we get our encounter card. It's going to be a caught off guard treachery. We definitely don't want to get rid of anything. Um, so we're gonna use an enhanced spider sense with Clea to get rid of that. Alrighty, there goes our turn. Um, that works out really well. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Our scheme is fine so far. It's on our turn. Black Cat, what can we do here? Okay, so Spider-Man is going to attack for two. That Hydro Bomber is pretty harmless. We're gonna bring Rhino down to five. Um, Black Cat will attack to bring him down to four. And then two more attack, it's, I don't, Think it's worth wasting to cost in black widow um we're going to be able to defeat him on the next turn so we'll just um yeah we'll use a hard to ignore to get web shooter to have more um, resources ready to go and then after this turn we will ideally defeat rhino here and that hydro bomber is fine hanging out so we'll ready everyone up all righty we will draw, oh no, am I gonna run out of cards? We're gonna draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, the perfect amount. We get a not today, a flow like water, 
there's our ingenuity and you know, all our upgrades and then there's our swing and web kick that would have been great Alrighty, so now we get an encounter card woof um so hey, maybe one of our extra cards we'll draw into will be a um one that stops a treachery card we can continue thwarting him so come over to rhino one more gets added to the main scheme three out of seven um he's going to attack we he initiates an attack we draw a card into spider tracer um yeah spider tracer let's see so he initiated his attack we have that desperate defense on jacosta yes so we are going to exhaust the queen carrier or i guess i know well yeah whatever we're yeah we'll exhaust the queen carrier we're going to use desperate defense that is attached to jacosta there we go um and so now we have five defense for this attack we're defending um he's attacking for three four five and so we defend all that and what happens now so we defended and took no damage so we get to draw a card into electrostatic armor and we get to exhaust hard to ignore to keep this continuing to stay down we have lots of cards here um alrighty, so now we get our encounter card oh um hunter bomber attacks for one we take that attack um so we're down to six health now we get our two encounter cards first one being charge that is a-okay because he's not going to get to attack again unless well <laughs> that could have been a mistake to say so let's see all right bomb scare um oh and i get you ready because of desperate defense forgot to do that anyway bomb scare comes in that's fine we have the win here um so we'll go ahead and put the three on the bomb scare um, that comes in with acceleration token so he just has the four health left and let's see if we can what all we can do just for fun here um we can use an electrostatic armor to put spider tracer onto hydro bomber we can attack uh to defeat hydro bomber with spider-man that triggers um spider tracer that gets rid of bomb scare this is all just for fun here um, and then we have four attack we can have uh, Jacosta swing in and um, not swing in we'll have her thwart for two we'll clean this up so we're just cleaning the board here before we come in with um, a web shooter down to two a not today and uh, an ingenuity and we'll do a swinging web kick and defeat Rhino with Spider-Man and that is the game folks um, thank you so much for joining. This was a really fun game. Um, I'm learning protection more and more and still figuring out, you know, when things trigger and how to make that flow flow like water. So, hey, thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.